Hey guys! Oh, it is such a nice day here today. I'm just filming with natural light, no ring light or anything because I'm feeling kind of lazy today. And I think the natural light is enough and it's just so pretty outside and I just wanted to sit here with my window open and enjoy the day. Ooh, that picture's crooked. I feel like this happens a lot in my videos, like my pictures are crooked and shit because my cats knock them over. Anyways, so today I just had an update on my date piercing. It has been about three months now since I got my date pierced, and a lot of people had questions about migraines, do they actually help with migraines and stuff like that. And I said in my one month update that I didn't feel like there was a big change in my migraines, you know, like in relation to the piercing. And at the three month mark, I would probably have to pretty much say the same thing, although I think that as my piercing heals, it may start to help. Let me explain that a little. Whenever I feel a migraine coming on, I have a lot of triggers for my migraines, so I always know when like it's gonna happen. If you have migraines a lot, you probably know what I mean. So if I feel like, oh, I'm gonna get a migraine, I will kind of just play with the piercing a little, and really not even necessarily the piercing. Like, I will just sort of like put my fingers around the date. Um, because I'm still not trying to move the jewelry too much because the piercing is still pretty new. At three months, it's not healed yet. But if I just put like pressure on like the piercing, I kind of do feel it start to not like get rid of my migraine, but it does kind of alleviate some of the pressure in my head. So I don't know if there's any correlation between the piercing or if it's just like that spot, you know, even on this year where I don't have a piercing, like I can kind of pinch that spot and it's just kind of like a pressure point, I think. So I don't know that having that piercing helps relieve a migraine, but I do think that particular area of the ear might be a pressure point, at least for me. I don't know if it would be for everyone, but I do think that it helps a little whenever I like play with that area of my ear. So like I said, it is still healing. I will show you the piercing at the three month mark. This is it. I'm trying to make sure you can see it. Let me zoom you in just a little. So this is the piercing right here in my ear. Let me get in frame. And yeah, it's still a little swollen. It's definitely still in the healing process, but it is much better. And there's my third helix that I got pierced the same day as well, just to kind of keep you updated on the status of both of those. But I think my day is doing well. I haven't had any issues with it so far. Let me zoom you back out. Not in. Oh my God. I haven't had any issues with my day piercing so far as, you know, as far as healing, like the healing processes have been really normal. I am still cleaning it, sometimes only once a day, sometimes I forget to clean it twice a day. Still just with my saline solution, like I pretty much just spray it and then clean it with like a q-tip or something. And I only really like super clean it if there's crusties, usually I just spray it and leave it alone. And for my piercings personally, that whole leave it alone thing works best for me if I don't pick at it and over clean it and shit like that, if I just mostly leave it alone and kind of help it along in the healing process with the saline solution that seems to work best for me. So I just wanted to kind of update you guys at the three month mark and say it's still doing great. I would highly recommend the piercing if you are good at taking care of your piercings. It is a little bit more of a difficult piercing to heal just because that is a really thick piece of cartilage so it's going to take a long time to heal, but it doesn't really get bumped around a lot. I am able to sleep on it now with no pain, although I'm still having to use my little neck pillow because of the helix piercing out here and if you haven't heard me talk about how I sleep on new piercings before basically I just get a neck pillow I could go get mine but I'm too lazy to get up but you know just one of those like what the hell am I doing with my hands one of those like u-shaped pillows this is gonna have to do as a demonstration one of those like u-shaped neck pillows just like let me just go get mine this is what I'm currently using to sleep on my new piercings and basically you just like put your ear in the hole like of the pillow and you can sleep normally like this that way you're not sleeping on the piercing because your ear is in the hole and it's just kind of chilling in space. It's not like laying on a pillow. And yeah, that's what I have done for my knee piercings for a really long time now. Like years I have slept that way with my knee piercings. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys the piercing's doing great. I am starting to notice a little bit of a change with the migraine. Like maybe once the piercing is healed, if I start to get a migraine, I can just like tug on the piercing and maybe it'll help. I don't know. And also it depends on, I think, what the migraine is triggered by. Certain migraines it doesn't help with, certain migraines it does, so... I guess we'll just see. I'll keep you guys updated. I hope you're having a great day. I have no idea what I'm doing with my hands ever. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.